Hey everyone, it's Nelly here. Welcome back to my channel. In case you don't remember, I have a giveaway going on currently. I'll leave the info card up in the top this corner. Yeah, the top this corner. Click on that info card for more information about how to enter. Long story short, if you subscribe, that's one entry. And if you comment and like on this video, that's a whole nother entry. So that's two entries right there for a giveaway you don't even know much about. So again, go back, hit that info card, and I'll leave the link in the description in case you missed it. Today, we are starting a brand new series. That's right, a whole brand new series. And what's this going to be about? We're going to be playing a whole Minecraft playthrough, but every single episode, I showcase and add on a new mod. Now, what mod are we going to do today? Well, if you haven't seen the spoiler from the title, we're going to be doing the Biomes O Plenty mod. Real quick, I just want to showcase some of the main features of the Biomes of Plenty mod. Here are a list of all the biomes that the mod currently offers. There is a crazy amount and I recommend you go check it out. I'm going to highlight some of my favorites. The lavender fields that are right here. I think this is beautiful, but I've never actually seen them. And here is the cherry blossom grove that I spend the whole time trying to find. I highlight a lot of these different areas throughout, so I highly recommend you go check it out. So this episode, we're going to be trying to get a perfect house location using the Biomes O Plenty mod. I was thinking something like the Lavender Forest, I think it's called, or the Jerry Cherry Blossom Woods. I think something like super flowery. Jesus Christ, this is a horrible spawn point. Foot Alps Foothills um, biome. Yeah, so already in a brand new biome, but I'm not feeling the snowy biome today. I was thinking something like very cherry wood or something flowery to build our house on. I gotta be careful because I'm gonna run out of food. I might even respawn here because this is... Let's check out the area and I might pick a new seed. Because it looks like we just have snow in every direction, which isn't exactly the vibe right now. Ooh! This is looking a lot better already. At least a grassy field with lots of animals gives us a good starting point. Oh, and this is a nice little area right here. This is just the savanna mod, right? Yeah, this is just a plains. Um, we might even just stay here for the first night, gather some food, and then in the morning we can get to exploring and finding our permanent home after we rid this place from all its resources. But yeah, I'm thinking of living somewhere flowery because we can create a really good decoration there. And after we find our first location, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think I sh what mod you think I should use next. Because this whole series, I'm going to be asking you guys what do we think we should use. So this is how I imagine this series going. For this first episode, I'm using Biomes O Plenty because Biomes Plenty is something you can only use when you're world generating. Um, it's not something I could have added later, and it adds a lot of content to our Minecraft world. Then later on, like, let's say we want to build a house, which we'll probably end up next next episode. I'll probably be looking for a furniture mod or something along, that li along those lines so that we can decorate our house with crazy furniture. And then uh, let's say I'm doing, gonna fight the Ender Dragon, then I'm gonna put it on a mod that's makes a harder ender dragon or something like that so that's how i imagine this series going just like every single day we decide what do we want to do today and then we download a mod to make what we want to do just a little more interesting and as you can tell we're not exactly using the default texture pack either i have oh i forgot which shader i have on but i have optifine with a shader on and i'll leave a note to what shader I am using in the description below. And then I also pre-installed the Just Enough Items mod, I think it's called, so that we can have constant lookup of items. I thought it was Control C, C, uh, I'll figure out how to look up crafting recipes later. But yeah, we can use this to look up crafting recipes. Perfect, some coal to start our journey. Yeah, so let's so my plan right now is i'm just gonna rid this entire area of resources by killing okay seriously i have more coal now than i have cobblestone and then i'll get back to you when i'm ready to travel again 
So I paused the game a little bit and got some material. I'm trying to make a flint steel to get all these animals. But I realized we're actually in our first biomes of plenty biome. We are in the redwood forest, the edge of it, but we are in the redwood forest. Yeah, I was like, these trees are not the normal trees. But yeah, I just wanted to stop and acknowledge that. I might even grab some red wood because I think this wood, if I'm correct, I want to see what this looks like as planks because I think this might look as this might look like a really cool wood to have our house built out of i'm kind of going for like the fairy pixie vibe you know okay so i basically got collected enough resources for us to get going i got 11 steak four cooked chicken seven mutton that'll be enough to like hopefully get us to our flower f not flower forest flower whatever um i'm gonna keep track what are the coordinates right now yeah i'm gonna note these coordinates just in case we want to come back to that forest over there later. Um, yeah, I'll save that. And then, yeah, let's get going. Are we in a different biome? This is a golden prairie. Wow, I can't see anything. What's over here? Is this more golden? The hole. Is this more golden prairie? This is just a prairie. A lot of bird here too. I did some exploring with the game ahead of time to see how often each of the tundras spawned. Um, not new the tundra. Each of the biomes spawned, and at least in my testing file, I got a lot of cherry blossom, but not a lot. I didn't see any lavender, um, lavender whatever biomes. But the lavender one's the one I'm really interested. In. It would be a nice purple hue but i guess also a cherry uh cherry wood biome cherry forest would be kind of chill because that would be a pink tone like my hair Ooh, another mountain thing over there wow look at this What's going on here? We have we're in a rainforest and we're headed to this a bayou. We're walking the mud. It's all sticky. Yeah, maybe we should go to get a boat and just try to sail to a different place. Oh. That's not right. Um, boat. Okay, let's see how many times. I don't know, remember how the boat mechanics work with, like, the updates. Because usually, like, in the past, you would run into a lily pad and just totally bust your boat. So you could not boat at all in the swamps. Now it just looks like it's slowing us down. Ooh, we're coming up on a new uh, biome. Okay, so this one. And it's still a bayou? Dang it. Why does it have trees now? What? I want to get out of this place. What? We're in a really hilly place now. I want to go back to the savannah. I don't like it here more. We have still not gotten anything of interest. It felt so easy before to find new biomes but that was also because i was flying so seasonal orchard seasonal orchard that kind of sounds kind of interesting where's the orchard part is it are these trees going to grow apples or something also i want those dogs save those coordinates save those coordinates what pumpkins cool Okay, save these coordinates because we're gonna what oh my god this is insane there's huge pumpkins here there's pumpkin pie forever but they were hay bales at first Jeez, that's really cool man squids used to actually give me nightmares like i created this one a horror movie roller coaster when i first played back in like update 1.6 maybe even earlier to be honest way before horses were even a thing 
Um, and I created a whole room in that roller coaster where there were just squids trapped in a glass wall. And you had to go through the glass wall of squids. Get out. I thought it was the scariest thing in the world. Where are we now? Um, this is a tundra. Tundra. That tundra is supposed to be snowy. Ooh, an icicle place. No, but what is this cobblestone? There's like nothing here. What is this? Is this flint? Here we go. Gravel, yeah. Cool. Maybe we can get some flint so we can have like steady source of food coming. And now we can eat the chicken without having to put down the furnace. Where are you, little chicken? No! Come out of there! Come out of there! I swear. I don't typically do this. This isn't my strong suit. What? Oh, dang it! I just threw my flint steel in the fire! Gosh darn it. <laughs> We're so far out now. What? Are we being attacked? Go! 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 I'm scared! Ah! <laughs> The game's starting to lag from all the chunks we're rendering in. My game's so laggy, I can't do anything. Okay, so let me just tell you, I must have been insanely lucky when I ran into, like, those four cherry blossom forests when I was testing. Because apparently they have, like, a two in, like, out of eight or ten rarity. And I literally went to 2000s. And X, Y in the, like, positives, and 2000s X, Y in the negative, and I could not find myself a cherry blossom forest. But I found something that I think has a lot of potential. Let me sleep here, and then I'll show you what I'm thinking. And, like, I may not have been able to find the cherry blossom forest, but I think this will do just as fine. So, this is, the like, just the view, but this is where we're gonna have our house. Right here. Look at this beauty. So... It may not look a lot to you right now. I know it didn't look a lot to me when I first saw it, but I see a lot of potential. Think about it. House on top of the hill, you know, real up style. We can up style it, put like some balloons, like we'll make this super pretty. And then goes down here. We have like some sort of water elevator thing and we keep a zoo of animals or something down here and like at some cool farm we can flatten the land out and make this part super pretty maybe have like even a river going from the top of my house through the middle of here like and then oh and then we can make a cave through and have it go out the other side and down into like a river like we can make our own biomes like i have the problem here is that there's no trees anywhere and now that I think of it, I don't have any saplings either. I have seeds, not saplings. But we're going to have to travel. I don't even know how many blocks away I am from the trees. I can probably go up to the top of where I'm planning to put the house and see. There has to be like some trees somewhere that I can get saplings from. But yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a birch forest, I think. That's what it is. Yeah, there's a birch forest down here. So never mind. We'll have access to a lot of really ugly trees. But, I don't know. Tell me what you think. I think this is has a lot of potential. I don't know what I'd do with that floating rock there. Maybe do something... Like a bridge from the top to there. Have something... Put something cool right there. Then another bridge over here. That's what I'm thinking. So next episode, we're most likely going to start building the house. Um, I'm also running low on food. So we may want to go and do some other stuff thankfully i think there's a lot there's some chickens down there i know so we can start a chicken farm plus i have some seeds so we can start a regular farm and start increasing the amount of seeds we have um and breed that for an infinite food source is what else yeah i think what we should do now is start the farm um get the food source going and then we can build a temporary house like let's say right around here to keep all our stuff and the good thing is i have this bed so i've literally had no problem with skipping the night because it's always daytime for me but i don't know like tell me what you think i think this is 
I, I haven't seen the view from up there because it's going to take me for freaking ever to scale that. We might as well just build, make ladders and climb ourselves up there temporarily. But I think, like, the upside house will be very cool. And then we can try to make, um, you see, we already have, like, another portal starting. We can maybe make a really cool nether portal. And instead, we can use, um, nether portals, the nether world to travel, to fast travel. And here is a highlight of the area that I ended up staying at. It is called the Highland Moor. Its rarity is 100 sub biome. I don't exactly know what that means. Um, but yeah, here that is. Survival here is hard as there are no animals or villages and trees that rarely spawn in the biome. So we're going to have a tough time. It says that passive mobs do not spawn here, which is very surprising because we had chickens in the center of ours, which means that we must have a special biome in the center of our Highland Moor biome, which is very lucky indeed. So I think this biome is a keeper, and I'm totally going to spend the whole series here unless I find a prettier one later. And then we can just create more vacation houses at other biomes like the lavender fields and the cherry blossoms when we do find them. So let's go ahead and climb to the top of here. Then maybe we can end the episode there. But I feel like the episode length for the series is going to be very dependent on what mod i'm showcasing during that episode because for example the um the biomes mod will likely have a lot of different things going on that we will get to see throughout the series so like this isn't the last time you're gonna hear i'm debating it's gonna be impossible to get up there but i don't know we don't need to see the view from up there maybe i don't know i'll just i'll just stack up yeah, but the biomes mod, we're gonna see that throughout this entire series. Like, the time you see the mod, the great thing is that's not the last time you're gonna see that mod. Because you're gonna have plenty other of other opportunities to see these mods throughout the series when I have to do other things. And the mods are gonna build off each other and become, like, a good happy family story type thing. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is if there's anything I missed that you still want to see with this mod, then let me know and I can make sure to showcase that in the next episode or in a future episode. And next time, leave me suggestions for maybe something that'll help me build a house, get started. I'm probably going to do, so I'm probably going to do house building first. And then do filling the room with furniture as a separate episode. Because I think those are things that are best done apart. And then, yeah, if there's any other mods you think I should be doing, go ahead and leave a note. Again, ooh, look. We have one of those biomes. I forgot what they're called already. I think it's like an orchard or something. We have some water here. But yeah, leave a comment and let me know what other mods you think would be interesting and would add to the storyline. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.